Hi, I'm Gary Lilly, Superintendent of Schools. Wanted to remind you that we are so excited about welcoming back our middle school students on Monday, November 2nd, um, five days a week. In the past, we have referred to students as either hybrid or virtual. We're changing that terminology. Now it's either uh, those who have selected the in-person model or the virtual model. And that's because all of our hybrid students are coming back five days a week, again, beginning Monday, November 2nd. Now, Tuesday, November 3rd is a little different because we are closing operations across the district for election day. But past that, students will be back five days a week. Do wanna let you know that we will continue to have mitigation strategies in place. Students will, of course, continue to wear their masks. Uh, we um, are going to have the students eating in the classrooms. We're emphasizing frequent hand washing. Hallways will be marked with one-way traffic. So we still have those things in place. Now I'm going to introduce Anita Swindle, principal at Carville Middle School, and she's going to provide a few more details for you. I'm here today to give you an update on our plans for bringing our hybrid students back on Monday, November 2nd, five days a week. There had been a previous plan to alter the attendance for next week where hybrid students would come on different days. Now that we're returning to a full five-day schedule, all hybrid students at Kyrville Middle School will come to school on Monday, November 2nd. We've been getting ready this week by changing a few of our building procedures uh, to accommodate the additional students in the building. Our students will be uh, rolling over into digital learning spaces if their classes are over the capacity to provide for six feet of distance between each student. At Kyreville Middle School, for most classes, that is a 16 students per classroom. A few have uh, a little bit capacity for more than that, but on, on the whole, it's 16 per, per class. Some classes will not have any overflow. We still have a lot of classes that are at 16 or below. Those students will simply attend those classes five days a week in the teacher's classroom. For classes that are over 16 students and do have to have some overflow, those students will roll over into a digital learning space. And in that space, they will sign into Teams and team directly into instruction for the day. Um, some of our classes will have students that have to roll over once every 10, 12 days. Some classes are larger in number and will have to roll over every few days. Um, whatever the case, every student will be getting live instruction uh, for every class every day on campus. Uh, one thing that we have done at Kyreville Middle School is we have determined that we are going to report directly to first period, first thing in the morning. Uh, this will eliminate a transition from homeroom in the morning, adding one more transition to the day. And looking at that, we just feel it, uh, it's gonna work better for our campus if kids go directly to their first period uh, when they arrive on campus in the morning. Um, we are going to continue to keep with all the COVID protocols that we have, uh, hand washing, hand sanitizing, masks will be worn at all times, students will eat in the classroom, uh, and we will continue with our one-way hallways. Um, parents, I would uh, give one uh, heads up, and that is that our car line is likely to be longer. Um, we do have a number of students who are car riding right now, and when we bring all the hybrid students back on campus, that line would, could get a little bit longer the first few days as we, as we work through that. Um, we do have some room on our buses, so if you are considering uh, moving your child from a car to a bus, uh, a lot of our buses are very light right now, uh, with fewer than 15 students riding those. Um, so that could be a good option uh, if the car line wait is uh, too long for you. Uh, mostly, I just want to say that we are so very happy to have our students back in the building um, and together as a family, uh, and we look forward to seeing them on Monday, November 2nd. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at any time via email or phone. Uh, I'll be happy to talk with you uh, and help you figure out what's what. Um, so Monday, we'll see you Monday, Dragons, uh, and have a great day.